Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, pretty much I explain why I failed my cycling challenge that I attempted to do about two months ago. If you don't know what the challenge was, I explained it in my last video, but the aim was to ride on Zwift or outside on the road every single day for as many days as I could. But there was one rule in it that I had to ride at least one hour. It lasted a whole of six days. There is a good reason for that though, and I do explain that in this video. It's also my first ride out on the road in a very long time. So what I did, I took uh, some of my camera gear and some of my filming gear and stuff like that, trying it all out for the first time. So if the editing isn't that good, it will get better, I do promise you. But yeah, bear with it for the meantime until I do get a little bit better. What are you lying for? And uh, yeah, let's just crack on with the video, shall we? So I've just started my ride now, pretty much. I'm just taking it easy now, just doing a bit of a warm up. The route that I actually did start out, it was pretty much uphill from the very start. So I'm just trying to warm up a bit just before I get to that hill, because if I hit that hill now, I'm not going to do anything. Stuck in, stuck in a bit of traffic. Yeah, so aiming my ride today is pretty much test all this gear. So I'm filming on the 360 camera now. I've got a microphone here, so see how this works out see if i need to tweak it make any adjustments or anything and pretty much just see yeah see how the uh, equipment's working and stuff like that for filming these rides i know stuff's not going to be perfect and i do apologize for that now but i can only improve on it i can only get better video out video by video you got to make mistakes to get better haven't you so this will get a lot easier when i get down to some of the country roads i think at the minute i'm in a very built up suburban area so once I get to some rural roads I'll be able to go through it a bit more I'm not looking forward to this climb now to be honest I'm not really rolling my bike apart from the uh, FTP test that I did the other day which is last week's video so just doing just doing a little loop now just to get a bit of blood in my legs warm a bit before we start the climbs and that Everything seems to be connected to my computer right anyway. So my heart rate monitor's on. And also my uh, power meter seems to be working even though I've not charged it for a while. That's good, but I don't see it lasting too too long with us. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be doing a decent, like the correct output anyway. But we'll see. Like I say, it's trial and error, isn't it? It's the sound of the police. Ooh, you're hard showing off. So it's like straight down here now and then back on the road. I've just come up now. This road is slightly uphill, but only by a tiny little bit. So I won't really class it as uphill as such. So I checked the weather today. I've come out a bit later than I actually planned. Just because the fact it was pissing it down all morning. And uh, I went up weather forecast. It said 40% chance of rain and then goes to 20 uh, the next hour, so I've took a bit of a risk just to see if I can miss the rain because I'm not sure this setup I've got here is fully waterproof. Obviously I've got the 360 camera, but once you take the uh, points out and then put the microphone adapter in, I don't think it works anymore, so I don't think I'm fully waterproof, but hey yo, it is what it is, isn't it? I'll try my best. So yeah, we'll come up here now. This is the same road which this hill's on. So I'm going to take it pretty easy. There's a lot of climbing up this road, really, pretty much. But then it does come up to a proper hill at some point. There's a segment on it which I'll post in a bit. So we're just approaching the segment now. Don't know how far away it is. I've got it started on my driver, so in a minute or so it should pop up. If we go on that page, we'll have a look. But it's a um, about 1.4 kilometers long and I think it averages at 5% which people will look and laugh at that but at the minute that is um, an effort for me really so we'll see how we get on it's just started raining now I think I'll get away with raining like this but if it starts getting heavy I think I'm going to have to put camera away so I don't fancy breaking an expensive camera to be honest but I'll be first ride out with it and all That'll be good, won't it? Right. My legs are already dead, I'm not, not even started it. 
<laughs> Blowing like a kettle. Whew. I think this is the only climb in the route that I've planned really. Everything else is pretty much flat. I cross my fingers and say that. But yeah, I think I need to get on Zwift and do a lot more um, practice on the hills. I'm still to climb out the Zwift yet. That's a, a goal to do. Let's see, uh, I might set that as a goal before Christmas and then see how we get on. So we've got this downhill now and then it's all uphill pretty much for the 1.3 kilometres. I'm clipping now actually. Oh, yeah, I mean, didn't think I would in then. Get a higher gear. Getting heavier this rain, not looking good. Ah, uh, yeah, so if you look ahead now, we've got this downhill and then it starts into the uphill. So I'm going to try and get a bit of speed on this downhill just to propel me up a bit. This will be good to test to see the microphone and all. So I've got a, um, a dead cat or whatever they call it on the microphone just to block out wind noise, so yeah, if uh, this part's made the video, it's past it, so if you look up there now, that's the start of the hill, the, the pain in the arse with this is that the satellite's right in the middle of it, well, at the start, so it starts in the second, uh, yeah, it's started now, and see the satellite's there, makes it absolute pain in the ass, like, you always get stuck at these lights and all. Yep, stuck at the lights. I'm pain in the ass. Right, so. Right, rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. It comes 3 minutes 37. I'll be lucky to do it in 8 minutes. But yeah. So, I'm not going to break any comms today. Just getting up this hill will be a, a win for me. As you can tell, uh, my breath already. So, I'll see you at the top of the hill and let you know how I got on. Just coming to the end of it now. Last 130 odd metres. I didn't get off the bike at any point. So there's a plus. Um, see what we get. Oh, saying I'm on for an end time of eight minutes and three seconds. So quite a good guess for me, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's see what we get. 70 meters. Oh. Uh, uh, 58. 54. If it goes right to the bottom here, I think. Right. Yeah, I'm knackered now. Yeah, so 18, 15, 10. Nah, it's not coming up with me time. All right, and it's just started hammering it down, so I'm gonna give it a little bit. And then, yeah. All right, are we okay? Yes, yes. All right, let's get down here. Yeah, all right. There you go, so I'm under the impression now this is all uphill. So, all downhill, sorry. So we'll see. Then I'll be on some quieter road so I can do a bit more vlogging as such yeah so I'll speak to you in a bit so in my last video I said I'd explain why me uh, daily cycling challenge all went wrong and I couldn't stop doing it so every time I kept having like funny spells of me going dizzy getting a bit like uh, vertigo and stuff like that so and it seemed worse every time I've been on my indoor training in the house so cut a long story short I've been to doctors and they've sent me for multiple tests and stuff like that. But I didn't really want to start hammering it on my bike and stuff before my heart was clear. But I've had a 24 hour ECG now. I'm pretty much, heart is clear. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, the one I've been referred to a neurologist who's prescribed me some medication for migraines. He thinks it seems to be migraines because a rise in body temperature can bring the migraines on and stuff like that. So that's where I'm currently at at the minute. Just 
seeing if these tablets work for the neurologist. So fingers crossed they do. And then hopefully it solves the problem. But yeah, I just thought to give a bit of insight why the challenge went completely wrong and it only lasted six days. I am going to be starting doing that again, but I just want to start getting a bit of consistency on the bike really first. And sort of just get out there and have some consistency, I'll lose a bit of weight also. And then I'll probably start that challenge again sometime soon but uh, looking at this weather now and that a lot a lot of it will be on Zwift because obviously it's winter here in the UK you've got dark mornings dark evenings not much time I work nine to five so there's not going to be much time for me to get out on the bike as such so I'm going to have to pretty much rely on Zwift I think and use that as my baseline platform and get out, get out on a weekend when I can so for example the bike that I'm riding now bought it in 2014 not really done any upgrades to the bike as such or anything I just put a power meter on that's pretty much it um, last time I went out on my bike it pissed it down so as you can probably hear my crank's creaking the bike is in need of a very good full service to be honest it's, uh, it's in better days but I think that's one of my plans for next week is to try and give the bike a good clean service give it some grease where it needs and then try and get it to a decent rideable level again because at the minute it's just not um, all my gear that i wear is all off aliexpress i don't i can't think of any premium gear that i've worn and stuff like that just because if it's 20 pound on aliexpress it does the job for me and i've never had any complaints of it in the past or anything so I use it, I don't mind it. This rain is getting pretty bad now. Every single time I plan on doing a ride, it always rains. If you look so earlier in the video, I explained that it was just about to start raining. I looked at the weather forecast and the weather forecast said that it, the rain had already happened and it wasn't due to rain. Do you think you could spare us the bullshit for one minute? But yeah, can't really trust them, can you? It did actually start proper hammering buckets down after this then, so I had to just pull over on the side of the road, get all my camera gear as safe as I could in my pockets and stuff like that to stop any water damage because I don't want to sort of break a 360 camera. So yeah, got everything in the pockets, aborted the ride completely and just rode home. So this is why I've come to this now. I couldn't do an outro when I was actually riding. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Helps the channel out a lot. And if you are enjoying this content, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and release a video every single week now. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.